guys, good day! In this session, we are going to illustrate linear inequalities in two variables. Let us define first what is linear inequality in two variables. This is a mathematical statement that uses symbols less than, greater than, less than or equal, or greater than or equal to relate values. It can be written in one of the following forms. We have ax plus by less than c, ax plus by greater than c, ax plus by less than or equal c, ax plus by greater than or equal to c, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a and b are not equal to zeros. So, para rin siyang linear equation in two variables, yun nga lang sa linear equation, equal sign ang ginagamit natin. Dito kay linear inequality, from the word itself, inequality, ang ginagamit naman natin ay inequality symbols. So, let us have an example. Here are some examples of linear inequality in two variables. We have here 4x minus y greater than 1, x plus 5y less than or equal to 9, x plus 7y less than 2, 2y greater than x minus 5. As you can see, ang ating mga examples here ay gumamit tayo ng mga greater than, less than, less than or equal, or greater than or equal. So, basta makakita ka noon, that is a linear inequality. And, since two variables tayo, kailangan lagi ka makakita ng x and then y. Is it clear? Determining if the given point is a solution or not of the given linear inequality. So this one, we are going to check if the given points here is um, a solution or not of this linear inequalities. Just like determining if the given points is a solution or not of linear equation, um, gagawin lang natin, sa substitute lang natin for us to find if is it solution or not. Let us have the first one. We have here the point of 2 and 3. Let us try this if this one is a solution or not of 2x plus 3y is less than 6 by using substitution. Let us now substitute. So, itong 2 mo, this would be your x, then yung 3, that would be your y. So, we are going to change x into 2 and y into 3. Your points here is 2 and 3. Then, we are going to substitute. So, we are going to use 2x plus 3y is less than 6. Then, change x into 2 and change y into 3. So, 2 times 2 plus 3 times 3 is less than 6. Then, just simplify. 2 times 2, we have here 4 plus 3 times 3, that is 9. Then, less than 6. Then, just add. 4 plus 9, the answer here is 13. 13 less than 6. Thus, 13 is less than 6. True or false? Alright, so that is false. So, si 13 ay hindi pwedeng maging less than into 6. Kasi si 13 ay mas mataas kay 6. Alright? So, this one, 2 and 3 is false. False po yan. So, therefore, it is not a solution. So, si 2 and 3 is not solution. Next tayo. Let us have 1 and 1. Let us try if 1 and 1 is a solution or not. So, we have here 1 and 1. Then, your equation is 2x plus 3y less than 6. Let us substitute. 2x becomes 1 plus 3 times y becomes 1. Less than 6. Then just simplify. 2 times 1, we have 2. Plus 3 times 1, we have 3. Then less than 6. 2 plus 3, the answer is 5. Then less than 6. Does 5 less than 6? True or false? Yes, this one is true. So ito yung tama. Si 5 ay less than 6. Therefore, 1 and 1 is a solution of this linear inequalities. Did you get it? So, that is how will you are going to test if the given points is a solution or not of the given linear inequalities. Let us have another example. Example number 2. 
y is less than or equal to 6 minus x, then we are going to test the points negative 1 and 4 and 2 and 3 if they are solution or not. Let us have the first one. We have here negative 1 and then 4. Let us test. We have y is less than or equal 6 minus x. Negative 1 is your x, 4 is your y. Just substitute. So your y, change it into 4, then less than or equal to 6 minus, since negative yan, maglagay ka ng open and close parentheses. Then just simplify. So we have here 4, less than or equal to 6, negative times negative becomes positive 1. So 6 plus 1, we have here 4, less than or equal to 7. Is 4 is less than or equal to 7, true or false? Yes, correct. This one is true. So, tama siya na si 4 ay less than into 7. Alright? Next tayo. Let us have here 2 and then 3. This is your x and then y. Your equation is y is less than or equal to 6 minus x. So, just change y into 3, then less than or equal to 6 minus, just change x into 2. Then we have here 3, less than or equal to 6 minus 2. The answer here is 4. Does 3 is less than or equal to 4? Yes, that's true. So this one is true. So therefore, see si negative 1, 4, and 2, and 3 are solutions. Ayan. So ganun lang siya kasimple. You are going to substitute lang, then analyze mo lang dun sa pinaka-final answer mo kung siya ba ay magiging true or false. Is it clear? Let's have another one. Number 3. We have x minus 2y is greater than 4. Then we are going to find if 0, 4 and negative 1 and 6 is solution or not. Let us have. So you have here 0 and then you have here 4. Then we are going to substitute x minus 2y greater than 4, change x into 0, minus 2 times, change y into 4, then greater than 4. Then simplify. 0 minus 2 times 4, that is 8, that is greater than 4. So we have here negative 8 is greater than 4. Is it correct? No. This one is false. Because the negative 8 should be less than 4. Next tayo, we have here negative 1 and then 6. To substitute, x minus 2y is greater than 4. Change x into negative 1 minus 2 times change y into 6 greater than 4. Then simplify negative 1, negative 2 times 6. The answer is negative 12 greater than 4. Then simplify negative 1 minus 12. The answer here is negative 13 greater than 4. Does negative 30 is greater than 4? 4? No, this is one is false. Therefore, C0, 4, and negative 1 and 6 are not solution. That is it. So that's how you are going to determine if the given points are solution or not of the given linear inequalities. Graphing linear inequalities. So, we have to take note of this one. First, use dashed line for greater than or less than. Then, use solid line for greater than or equal or less than or equal. So, kapag daw greater than or less than ang ating given, ang gagamitin natin ay dashed line. Pag ganito. Ayan, putol-putol na line. Kapag naman solid line, um... Kapag naman greater than or equal or less than or equal, ang gagamitin natin ay solid line. So, meaning, isang diretsyo lang na linya. So, hindi siya putol-putol. Is it clear? So, we have here the steps for the linear, uh, in graphing linear inequalities. First, graph the linear inequality. In graphing linear inequality, you may use x and y intercept o kaya slope intercept form. So, yan yung pwede, pwede mong gamitin para ma-graph mo si linear inequalities. Next, number 2, test the point if it's a solution or not. Then, afterwards, you are going to shade the part of the point that satisfy the inequality. So, let us have an example. Example number 1. 
2x plus y less than 1. First, let us determine if the line that we are going to use is dash line or solid line. Since we have here less than, therefore, ang gagamitin natin ay si dash line. Dash line. So, yan yung gagamitin natin sa pagdodraw ng ating linear inequality. Pagkatapos nyan, we are going to plot the points. So, how we are going to find the points in this graph? So, mas madali kasi si x and y intercept. So, gamit tayo ng x and y intercept. So, paano nga ba si x and y intercept? So, para makuha mo si x intercept, ito lang siya. You are going to let y be equals to 0. Then, itong less than natin, gagawin muna natin siyang pansamantalang equal sign. So, we have here 2x plus y is equal to 1. Just change it. Then, let y be equals to 0. So, si y daw gagawin natin 0. So, magiging siyang 2x plus 0 is equals to 1. Then, afterwards, we are going to solve. So, we have 2x is equal to 1 kasi mawala na 0. Then, divide both sides by 2. So, cancel out mo yung 2. So, therefore, ang x mo is, we have here 1 half. Ang y mo is 0. So, therefore, ang isang point natin is 1 half and then 0. Ayan na. Nakuha na natin isang point. 1 half and 0. So, ang x mo raw ay 1 half. 1 half ang x mo. Then, we have here ang y mo ay 0. So, ito yung isang mong point. Ayan. 1 half and 0. Next tayo. Let us have the y. Let the y intercept. Y intercept. For us to find the y intercept, we are going to let x be equal to 0. So, siya naman yung 0. So, you have here 2x plus y is equal to 1. To change natin yung x into 0. So, 2 times 0 plus y is equal to 1. Mawawala na yan. Kasi 0 na. Therefore, y is equal to 1. Therefore, ang isang point mo, ang x mo raw ay 0, and then ang y mo ay 1. So, 0 and 1. Just plot the point. 0 and 1. Nasaan yun? So, this one yun. So, meron ka ng 2 points, pwede ka na mag-draw ng line ngayon. So, pag mag-draw ka ng line, so, syempre, tapat lang. Ganyan lang. Okay? Ayan. Then, since, since dash line tayo, so, kailangan putol-putol yan. So, putol-putolin natin ang ating line. Kasi, dash line dapat ang ating gagamitin. So, that is now your graph for that linear equation. Afterwards, test natin yung points niya. Magtetest tayo ng points dito sa taas at saka points dito sa baba. So, doon tayo sa pinakamalapit lang. So, since dito sa baba, pinakamalapit at pinakamadali, we have here 0 and 0, the origin. Pwede natin itest yung origin dyan. Kapag yan ay nag-true, therefore, ang kanyang solution ay nandito lang sa baba na yan. Kapag yan ay nag-false, therefore, ang solution yan ay nandito sa taas. Is it clear? So, let us have here 0 and 0. Let us try 0 and 0 to test the point. We are going to have 2x plus y is less than 1. Just change it. 2 times 0 plus 0 is less than 1. Ito magiging 0 na lang. 0 is less than 1. Is it true or false? Yes, that is true. Since dito pa lang kay 0, 0 na to ay nag-true to, therefore, ang kanyang solution ay dito. So, ayan. So, shade mo yung part ng pinaka-solution ng pinaka-graph mo. So, ito yung pinaka-shaded part niya. So, therefore, lahat na nang dito is a solution of um, 2x plus y less than 1. So, lahat ng points na nakapaloob dito sa, la sa ating um, um, shaded part, magsasatisfy kay 2x plus y less than 1. Is it clear? So, try natin dito. 1 and 1. Ito. Yung point dito, 1 and 1. Tingnan nga natin kung true or false. So, let us try 1 and 1. Para lang mapakita ko sa inyo na lahat na nandito ay magiging false. So, we have here 2 times 1 plus 1 less than 1. 2 times 1, 2 plus 1 less than 1. 2 plus 1, that is 3. Is 3 is less than 1? 
Di ba? False. So, therefore, lahat na nandito sa taas na yan, magpo-false yan. Is it clear? So, that is the simplest way for you to graph the linear equation. Let us have another one. Number 2. 4x minus 3y is greater than or equal to 12. So, let us determine kung ang gagamitin natin ay dash line or solid line. So, since greater than or equal, therefore, ang gagamitin natin ay si solid line. So, meaning, isang diretso lang na line yung gagamitin natin. First, let us find the x-intercept. x-intercept. Okay, para makita natin isang point. So, let y be equals to 0. So, magiging 0 na raw yung y. So, magigitong 4x minus 3 times 0 greater than or equal to 12. I sorry, change it into equal sign muna pala. Then, we have here 4x minus, ito magiging 0 na, so equal na lang to 12. Then, solve for x. Just divide both sides by 4, by 4, cancelled 4. So, x is equals to 3. So, ang isang point mo raw is 3 and then 0. So, that is the first point, 3 and 0. So, hanapin natin si 3 and 0. 3 ang x mo. 1, 2, 3, then 0 ang y mo. So, this is your point. Is it clear? Next tayo. For y intercept. Y intercept. So, we are going to let x be equal to 0. So, your given ulit is 4x minus 3y greater than, ah, uh, sorry, equal na po pala. Equal 12. Yan. Gagamit muna tayo ng equal sign pansamantala. Then, change it x into 0. So, mawala na yan pag you change it into 0. So, magkakaroon ka na lang ng 3y is equal to 12. Just divide both sides by negative 3. By negative 3. Cancel out negative 3. So, 12. 12 divided by negative 3, y is equals to negative 4. So, yung isamang point mo is 0 and negative 4. So, since negative 1, 4 mo, sa baba tayo. So, negative 4 daw. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So, this is your points. Ayan. So, nakakuha na tayo ng dalawang points. Pwede na tayong gumawa ng line. So, we have this one. This is your line. So, yan na yung ating line. So, since greater than or equal, solid line. So, hindi na, po, hindi na natin siya puputol-putulin. So, this is now your line. Now, test the point. Test tayo ng isang point. So, saan yung gusto? So, syempre, dun tayo sa madali. Gawin natin 0 and 0. Dito tayo sa origin kukuha ulit. So, test the point using 0 and 0. So, we have here for x minus 3y greater than or equal to 12. So, since ito magiging 0 na to, 0 minus 0, we have 0 is greater than or equal to 12. Is 0 is greater than to 12? No. False. So, therefore, lahat na nandito ay magiging false na yan. Okay? Since false na yan, therefore, ang solution mo ay ito. Ito na yan. This is now your solution. Lahat na nandito sa right side. Okay? So, ganun lang kasimple. So, kahit mag-test ka pa dyan ng points na nandito sa nakaloob dito, magigi siyang satisfy or solution. Is it clear? So, that is how we are going to graph a linear inequality. So, madali lang siya. Basta alam mo mag-plot ng points, alam mo kumuha ng x and y intercept, okay na. So, kayang-kaya mo na siya. So, that's all for today. So, thank you for watching. Hopefully, may natutunan for this day. So, kung may tanong, chat lang po sa ating comment box. And that's all for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.